So this is my little um, Salem's Lot uh, shelf that I have in my room here. Um, this is a picture of uh, the late Reggie Nalder as Barlow. I mean, come on, look at that. That's some scary shit. I love that picture though, but yeah, man, he he killed it in that performance. Um, there was an interview with Toby Hooper actually that was on YouTube, and it said that he had such a hard time, Reginald, with the contacts and the teeth and the fingernails and everything. They kept falling out. His eyes kept going cross and stuff like that. I mean, that guy went through some pain, but man, is that a performance? And I wish he was at, the, you know, the. I don't have a gripe with the movie at all, but if there was one thing I could say, I wish that Barlow was in the movie more. Here's some other little pictures here. Picture of the Martian. Let me move that so you can see it. Got some other pictures back there. James Mason. David Soul. David Soul is awesome as Ben Mears. I don't care what anybody says, man. He's He kicks ass in that role. See, and these are the books I have. Um, this is actually a photo of the cover of the DVD and the poster. Let's take these pictures real quick. And uh, so these are the books. So this is like the first book I read. Now it's tore back because, like I said, I mean I've had this for a long time. And uh, but this is the original miniseries novel. Um, yeah, it's. I've had this since I was probably six years old, so it's kind of a keepsake, and then I have this version of the book, and this was, uh, my grandmother gave me this when I, turned, when I was 13, this was a Christmas present from her, so I love it, this is like, I actually, every time they release a new version of this book, I buy it, it's an old copy of it. My wife actually found this one. She said it was her mom's. She gave me this one. Then I actually bought this one um, in Ferndale. So that was kind of cool. I bought a copy of Salem's Lot in Salem's Lot. I think I got it for like $5 or something like that. Yeah, $4. So, And then I just found this one the other day. New copy of it. Now I've read the book like three times. It's a great book. I still think it's Stephen King's best. And then I got these here. I still have my you know, the old tape to play this thing all the time. Part one and two. It's much easier on DVD. And this is a newer version of the old cover. Um, when I joined the Stephen King Library, I got this. So it was the only one where I got a duplicate. And then I got this one. This was a special edition where they had an illustrated version of it. This has some really cool images on it. And then I got uh, some magazines and things. Now this magazine was how I first found out that it was in um, Ferndale where the movie was shot. And this was uh, Cinema Fantastique. Um, this was released around the time of the movie. And uh, there's some great images in this. There's some pictures of Mark Petrie played by Lance Kerwin and Ben Mears. And uh, a couple of cool images of Barlow here. And there's one of the little kids as a vampire. Marston House. So that's a nice keepsake right there. And then just recently, Horror Hound put out an issue where they um, do the hallowed grounds. And they went and did uh, what I had already done and went through Ferndale and lined up the shots from the movie with shots of their own. They got this one wrong, though. That was one thing I noticed. The image here where Ben and Susan are in the diner, they said it was this other place that was across the street from one of the places I stayed at there. It was an empty garage, but it was never a diner. So I noticed that. Yeah, some good images, some cool stuff here. I thought that was kind of neat. And then just recently, uh, Scream put out this cover. Wish the article would have been better, but I really liked the cover. 
because the writer didn't really like the miniseries, but he doesn't know what the fuck, he, the fuck he's talking about. Um, and then also the shirt I'm wearing, um, representing right here. So yeah, I mean, that's a lot of the stuff that I have, and it's just a great film. I mean, like I said, take a chance and watch it because it is one of the scariest films ever made, I think. And what I'm going to do now is show the images that I took um, and match them up with uh, some of the film stills. So stay tuned for that. movies ever um, I'm glad I got this opportunity to talk about it but I'm really saying you guys need to watch this film great performances David Soul has been mirrors is just awesome in it you got uh, James Mason late James Mason is Richard Straker amazing performance you also got um, uh, Jeffrey Lewis who's actually Julia Lewis's father and he plays Mike Ryerson he's probably one of my favorites in the film scary scene with him man I swear that one along with Barlow and the pff, man it's like just that scene, those two scenes, uh, the scenes with Barlow and the scene with Mike as a vampire, that, that's all you need to know. Um, <clears throat> you also have the lovely Bonnie Bedelia as Susan Norton. She does a great job. And then uh, Lance Kerwin as Mark Petrie. Just amazing performances in this film. And Toby Hooper did a kick-ass job on a television budget with this film. I love this film. Um, love the town that I went to and people I met and just amazing to step into something that meant so much to me as a kid and, and be able to walk around this town and remember shots in the film and stuff like that because the town is literally, it still looks the same. So thank you for taking the opportunity to listen to me about Salem's Lot and please feel free to email me any questions or you know post in the comments, uh, whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, if you guys want to ask me some more questions about Salem's Lot. I don't like the sequel, Return to Salem's Lot. It's it's garbage, complete garbage, so don't even waste your time with that one, in my opinion. And then I've already said my piece about the um, Rob Lowe, Rucker Hauer remake that they did in 2004. It's okay. 
but uh, nothing beats this. Um, it's just not that good in my opinion. It's got some good parts to it, um, but I I was pissed off they remade it. I would have preferred a sequel. In fact, one of the ideas I had in my screenwriting class was to write a sequel, and I was pissed when I found out they were just going to remake it, because I think this movie could have had a really kick-ass sequel, and originally it was going to be a mini-series. Uh, not a mini-series, but a television series it was going to spin off from this, but it never happened, so... But thank you guys very much. Represent Salem's Lot. And I uh, look forward to more videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night.